this purple bail wrap is raising money for this great charity. This charity goes towards helping um, seriously ill children, children stuck in hospitals, and children with long-term health problems. Um, even with this current economic climate, as farmers especially, we could still help this charity just by purchasing this wrap. This is just a precursor to us using this in the summer on one of our own, or one of our own stacks. For those of us that have children, we can appreciate them nice and healthy, but others are not so lucky. So us as farmers, we can do our bit for this amazing charity. All profits of this product go towards this great charity. So this product is made by Zeus Epic Crop. Adam and I, in the summer, as soon as we start harvest, we are going to use this product and we'll also let you guys know how we find it, how we find it works as packaging as well as just helping the charity. So you guys have waited for this for ages and this uh, episode is endorsed by Zeus Epicrop, as you can see, well worn proudly by his Royal Shortness and myself. We have waited to do this for ages because we wanted to display a purple wrap on the front of this stack so you guys see it more often. Whoa, Justin is back there starting to wrap the bales. Just give you an insight about Well Child, what they do. So Well Child is a charity for children and young people about giving them quality of care um, at home really, quality of life. Instead of a child or young person in hospital, you know, could never get home to see their family, always constantly having treatment, um, they can have that treatment at home. Now I think this is a wonderful charity. I mean if you have got kids, I think you can appreciate that. I think if your child did get seriously ill, I generally think it would be your worst nightmare. I've got three kids and I know it would definitely be my worst nightmare. So this charity is absolutely brilliant and I'll be totally honest, I didn't know anything about Wild Child until we were approached by Carl Billington of uh, what the actual charity does and to be honest with you, I think it's absolutely brilliant charity to uh, raise money for.
at the moment about 24 bales to two rolls, which any of you wrapping single roll would be 12 bales of roll. I know some of you just had a meltdown, but we put a lot of plastic on. So we're putting it on basically eight layers with no overlaps, which for any of you with single stems would be 40 rotations. So if you break down the rotations that we are putting on, um, and also we put it on to a five foot eight bale, aka what we call the six foot bale, um, that'll give you an idea of how many bales you'll get from one of these purple wraps, which pretty much bang on with that wrap anyway. The colour really brightens up the yard. So anyone wants to have a pretty yard bales, this is going to be right up your alley. And yeah, so far it just seems to be handling great. Again, I have said to you already that in 12 months time I will open up a bunch of these bales on camera. So I won't be able to sort of I'll have any wool over anyone's eyes and everyone can make their own um, or analyse it themselves what they think of it and proper showcase it. Today's video is going to be about purple wrap. The stage is set, here's all purple bales. As everyone knows, we did this for the World Child Charity, didn't we? Ed? Yes, we did. And now it's a big unveil. Yep. We're going to open our first bale. Adam and I got our trusty orange AT knives. Remember, kids, don't carry knives. Yeah, especially like I am. Ready? Yeah. We're going to open the first bale. Always make sure you're not sharp as well. Nothing more dangerous than a blunt knife. Nope. Right, first bale. First impressions. First impressions. So, we do make a very dry haylage. And I don't know if you can notice, uh, it's not a true interpretation of the colour of the bale because we are under unnatural light. So, it will be slightly distorted um, compared to what it would be like in daylight. Does it make that much difference? It actually does. Anyway, smell a product. Very good. What do you think? Very nice. If I do say so myself, it's very, very nice. As you guys can see here, this circle bit is a slightly damp part of the bale. Probably something that's come under a tree or out of shade, and it just ends up getting part of the bale. But it doesn't matter. So yeah. There's an ever so slight yeast build up in a few places. Uh, if you don't know what yeast build up is, it is, it almost looks foamy. I don't know if I can find a bit that you guys will be able to see here. So if you are looking here, uh, which I'm not sure if you can see, it looks, the only way I can really explain it is like cobwebs. So it's very, very fine. Um, and you can literally just do that and it just goes. But it's basically a yeast buildup. Um, so it's not, nothing to worry about. But as for mould, currently I can't see any, which is the most important thing for us. Add, spot anything? Nothing. First bale, well, how many bales were you? 10? 10. So 10 bales. Well, first bale, fine. First bale. <laughs> Now, we've opened all 10. Voila. They're all open, okay? Now we're sort of gonna go random. So, on number one, which was this bell here, obviously there's the damp bit in the middle, which is our fault because it's come from shade, some part of that. These, we apologize on behalf of these two. You think Adam's difficult to work with, the Terriers are far, far worse. 
Anyway, as you can see, there is nothing going on with this one. Nothing at all. This one's pretty good too. We haven't spotted anything. There's a little bit of a yeast build up in here in the middle. Right? Usually on the drier that you make stuff, uh, we find we have yeast build ups a lot more than on the wetter stuff. I know on size clamps you can get it a lot, but I mean on us wrapping bales, we don't tend to get so much on slightly wetter stuff as we do on the dry, or not quite so noticeable. You more more mould on the wetter stuff than it adds. Uh, this bale is pretty much all good. There's a little bit of a yeast build up, little, as I said a minute ago. A little there. bit on the side. There's a bit well, on the side. Nothing. Nothing tragic. Uh, we'll go this way. This bale, all good. Uh, bale number six that we've looked at now. This one is pretty much the same. It's a little bit of um, yeast again on the corners of this one. Don't know why. To be fair, the consistency so far is absolutely really good. It's not bad. One pickup bale. Now there's no mold. But we've had we've had a leak, yeah. so it's not the end of the world. It has been pretty useful learning about the zoo's crop. We are thinking about trying some black, um, mostly because we've got a bit more of a confidence in black. Um, we also got to meet the lovely CEO of Zoo's crop, which is Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Lovely bloke. Lovely chap. A good day with him, didn't we? We had we had a great great bit of chat and a great bit of banter with him, and he he did explain to us that he went through the whole process. It was really really interesting, really interesting, wasn't it? Yeah, that none of the other colours will really replace black. Uh, the see through colour is not bad, is it? But we've heard so many mixed results on the see through plastic. Um, the science behind it is phenomenal. Yeah, we learned a lot about wrapping that day. Yeah, massively. But back on the see-through, we we've seen so many mixed results on the see-through. There's been more negatives than positive on see-through. Yeah, yeah. But this so far is only bale that it's got. It's not really a problem. It's just wet patches. It just doesn't work with what we're doing. So it's going to be no problem. The cow's got an exceptional bale to eat. Um. Uh, but so far no mould, which is the main thing. Now, if we come over here on the last three, again, bit of a yeast build up on top here. Apologies that you can't like proper see what we're seeing. It, it's just the it's just the lighting. Can't I can't can't tame the lighting down or anything. It's just one type of lighting. Um, but that one's good. And then the last two, pretty much the same. I don't know if anyone's noticed that this bale here is looking slightly greener than anything else. This one's really dry. I, this one is nearly hay. Like, really nearly hay. But the rest of them are still hay -lages. Just really dry. Well, to be honest... Bit, I'll be totally honest now. I am quite surprised. Aren't well, you? Yeah. To be honest? Yep. I, I am, I, you know. It is the same, like I said, the same consistency throughout. But like we just said, very skeptical of trying a new product. But and with the colour as well. But I must admit. One second. We apologise for this video and how long it's taking. Yeah. Uh, but at least you got to see the dogs just annoying the hell out of us. No, but I'm really impressed with the wrap. I've got to say it. I am really yeah. impressed with it. It is. It is a very good wrap. Giving an honest review. If, if we were to say, like, anyone's thinking about going out and get some purple wrap and help World Child Charity, phenomenal, do it. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, would we condone doing 100% of all your bales in purple? <sighs> you know, on, a, on us, I wouldn't do 100%, maybe 50%, and, like, you know, you go through that purple section first, but 100%, we, we just wouldn't put all our eggs in one basket, if that makes sense. Uh, you could say, yeah, but you wrap all your bales in a different product and it's black. Yes, we do. We have used other wraps through the years 
it's just the one that we've had best results with. You know, like even Brian said from the CEO from Zeus, um, black is black. You know, black is the easiest to make. Yeah. And it, you know, the glue sticks, the black, the glue, the adhesive, all sticks together. You know, that's what the sun does, doesn't it? It sticks yeah. it all together, and that's why you've got these layers, same layers as that, but they're all stuck together. Yeah. But the colour's phenomenal. Yeah, I do like the colour. The colour is phenomenal. Uh, it's been awesome having it in the yard. All our customers are coming to pick up bales. I've makes actually people, loved it. Makes people smile with yeah. the faces. They love the faces. It, it's been it's been good fun doing it. Yeah, it's been really good fun. Uh, will we be supporting it and doing it next year? Yes. Again, not all our stacks, but we can do some. That's that's our verdict on, on it that. It is. It also doesn't help that we bought two years worth of and plastic is, in, no, in one go yeah. as well. And so. it is an amazing, and it is for an amazing cause. The charity is amazing, what yeah. we actually do. Uh, big 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 believer in that charity you know we don't do much charity do we no but that was a charity we could not say no to and i'm glad that we were asked and we did get involved with it yeah but it's, yeah it's been really good fun so it's been very much a thank you from us to carl billington for yeah. letting us try the purple wrap a thank you very much to zeus epicrop for also helping and sending some gold net wrap and stuff thank you very 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 much for brian the ceo of Zoop Epicrop coming to see us. Yeah, that's the end of this video, really. It was just a little look at this. So you guys planning for next year on what to buy, yeah, give it a go. 100% give it a go. We've had out of 10 bales, one with a bit of moisture problem. Yeah, no mold though. No mold and just a little bit of yeast buildup in places. So, you know. But you get that with any wrap anyway. Yeah. That's not, you know. And before anyone else freaks out, yeast is like full of probiotics and is actually good for bread making. Oh god. It's good for digestion. Oh, I've been waiting all, video, been waiting all video, video to say that. Really? Yeah.